Bitcoin Yoda back at you again. A lot of you have been asking how to start trading uh, different types of coins, particularly now that I have some Bitcoin, how can I trade that with other coins, uh, sell it and then trade it, buy it back so I can make a profit. I mean, just to show you right now, the value of one Bitcoin currently at roughly 5 p.m. on November 2 is about $748 US. So a lot of you have been asking, how can I start trading you know sort of like day trading with the stock market of course the fees are a lot less when you're dealing with uh, cryptocurrency but the first thing you want to do is go to this website poloniex.com p-o-l-o-n-i-e-x.com okay i'm over here in california i know there's certain states i think like new york where you're not allowed to do this uh, but i believe other countries it shouldn't be an issue anyways uh they, by the way to, to answer the question um in New York, they block the IP address, so if you have a VPN, try it that way. I don't know. But first thing you want to do is create your account. So you go to create your account, fill in your information here, okay, click that you're not a robot, and then click create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you my account. All right, so I just logged into my account, and you'll see there's a couple of things here. Um, let's start with the far right corner. So you can look at this from a couple of different ways. You can look at it um, in regards to um, Bitcoin as the currency that you're comparing the price of everything else or Ethereum or um, XMR which is Monero or you can look at it what I, I like to use because I'm over here in America um, is US dollars so you can see here that the current trading price for one Bitcoin is 749 and then here's something that if you look at my previous video um, about Zcash, this just launched on October 29th, so last Friday, I believe it was. So it's only been about five days, but here's what's kind of exciting about this. I mean, it's pretty volatile right now, but if you look at who's backing it, I'm looking at this as a long-term strategy. And so, you know, um, when it first hit the market, let's see here. October 29th, I mean, it was it was really high. It was at, and I'm looking over here, okay? Look at this window here, which is open, close. Um, you'll see here that it was as high as $5,300, and it closed at $6,100. Actually, it hit a high of $9,000 uh, on that day. And we progress, let's see here, October 30, October 30, it went down, of course, it went down to 563, 600 as what it closed at, hit a high at 632. But here you see here on on Halloween day on October 31st, it started at 529 and whoa, it jumped up all the way to 2000, actually 2500. Okay, and then you can just follow the candlesticks here. It's been up and down, up and down, up and down. But right now, uh, it's November 20. November 2, 5 o'clock p.m. California time. Currently, it's trading at 960. So, yeah, it's not quite the bottom, but it's also not quite the top. And so, you know, my strategy here is twofold. I'm going to do some short-term trading, day trading, where I have my, my parameters set up. Basically, I've seen it fluctuate today. So if we look at one day, 24 hours, you can see how it's fluctuated all the way in the past 24 hours from as low as, I want to say around 800 something. Uh, yeah, it, it bottomed at around 800 or so dollars. But you can see that it peaked at 1300. So you see these swings. I mean, I'm comfortable with that roughly 300, $350 window there. And so I bought in right around nine. Uh, 960 um, and yeah it dipped I mean I literally just bought it about half an hour ago but I know that it's going to be going up and down and so I'm gonna ride this uh, but also I'm looking at it as a long-term strategy as well because yeah right now there's a lot of hype the price is probably gonna settle um, and again I'm not doing a crazy amount but my point is here that you know you can ride these swings because of the uh, momentum that it's gaining with all the hype and again, as a long-term strategy, if you go to Zcash. Let's see, where is it? Zcash. Let's 
z.cash. You go to z.cash, you can read up about it and see why this is um, pretty interesting. Um, go to team, and you can see all the all the people that are involved. I mean, people from MIT, Johns Hopkins University, uh, Tel Aviv University, all the engineers that are behind it also. But institutionals, or I'm sorry, institutions, uh, you know, there's a lot of big players in here that are involved, including Amazon.com. So, of course, when you're talking about big multi-billion dollar companies like Amazon.com and all these other investors, uh, you know, they're not in it for the short term. They're not going to dump millions, if not billions of dollars uh, into this pro into this uh, this cryptocurrency without knowing a thing or two. So, you know, again, we're only in it for, gosh, about four days, five days. And so, you know, the, the future looks very, very optimistic. I mean, see it dipped again down to 936. I'm not, I'm not uh, worried, though, because, you know, you're, and I'm going to be showing you my progress with this and all the transactions I'm doing. But basically, it's, um, it's a long-term game. So anyways, what you want to do when you first get started after you log in is you want to go to Deposits under Balances. And over here, you know, you need to have a, in my case, I have a, um, a Bitcoin wallet already set up, which you can get from Coinbase.com. Um, if you're here in America, that's the easiest way, in my opinion. And I'll put the link down below if you need to set up a wallet still. But basically what you'll do is you'll go, you're going to go here where it says Bitcoin and you're going to click Deposit. And it's going to show you the address that you're going to send um, your Bitcoin to. Okay, So go into your Coinbase wallet or whatever wallet you have and send it to this, this address here, whatever amount. Okay, And then you're going to have to wait, you know, could be a couple of minutes, could be half an hour depending on the amount also and you'll see here under history that um, it'll appear so this is what you have available that you can start trading with. so I just did a couple of deposits just to test it out first and then I did a, a larger deposit and again I just started today with this but that's that's how much Bitcoin I have in there available for trading so roughly nine point Oh, I don't know, 9.77 uh, Bitcoin um, available. So once it's there, and you'll see that it's pending first, and then after a couple of uh, confirmations, it'll say complete. And then what you want to do is go to exchange. And you can set it up a couple of ways. Um, in my situation here, I'm going to be trading. Whoa, see, it just jumped up. Oh, nope, 936. Um, my situation, I'm trading Bitcoin for... Um, Zcash. And so what you'll want to do here is you can do a, uh, a buy, which is at the current price, okay? Or you can do set it up as a stop limit. So basically you're going to set it up as a parameter where it'll only buy at whatever designated strike price that you do, okay? Um, I just wanted to get in. I, you know, I wasn't waiting for it to floor out or anything like that. Although I could have, but I mean, it's not a big deal. For me right now um, so I decided to just jump right in and buy at the price that it was at so right now the lowest bid is 951 for one full Zcash um, but you don't have to do a full one you can do a uh, you know you can do a partial amount if you want to okay so you just fill in how much uh, well actually first let me take that back you have to go click here in Bitcoin because now you're trading in Bitcoin we're not trading in US dollars but I have um, some Bitcoin available to trade, so if I wanted to buy some, um, hold on one second, let's take a look here. Okay, sorry about that. I had to figure out why it was still showing in US dollars. So basically what you're going to do is, so first we were looking at it in US dollars. What we need to do is convert it, look at it so that we're buying it in Bitcoin. So you click the BTC tab here. And so you can look at the chart for that particular coin, CEC. You'll see here Zcash, Bitcoin, uh, and it'll be the relevant uh, currency, cryptocurrency. So you'll see here that I have 
0.95 Bitcoin available for trading, the lowest ask for one bit, I'm sorry, one Zcash is 1.24, right? Roughly $960 or something, $930. But you don't have to do a full uh, Zcash coin. You can buy a, a percentage. And so what you're going to do, really quick, hold on one second. Let's just make sure. Okay, that we have enough there. And so the current current price of one uh, Zcash is the equivalent of 1.24399899 Bitcoin. So let's say I just wanted to buy 0 0.9 Bitcoin worth of Zcash. So that would be 0.72. Zcash, so I'd click buy, and it just said that I bought. So now, if you go back, you might have to wait for a little bit. Let's see. All right, so from where I was on that screen, what I wanted to show you um, is that the order has been placed, and so you can confirm that by going to uh, orders and then my trade history. And then take a look and see. There you go. Uh, these ones, well, all of these are the most recent ones. They had to do it in chunks because it was, you know, quite a bit, uh, a big amount, 0.9 uh, Bitcoin worth. So that was roughly in US dollars, 0.9 times 740. It's about $660 worth of. Uh, Bitcoin that I exchanged for some Zcash. And so the price that I bought it at was at around $920 worth of Zcash. So now we just wait. I have that available, uh, 1020 so, oh, sorry, 927 so it went up a little bit. And so I will show you some update videos over the next couple of days. Um, I might do some trades in between. Uh, but that's how you get started with trading on uh, Polonius. This is Bitcoin Yoda signing off. Check out my other videos below and please don't forget to comment and subscribe. As always I do want to make a disclaimer that you should only trade and buy what you're comfortable losing. Okay just like with the stock market you never know what could happen. I'm buying on speculation for long term and at the same time I mean this is something that I can afford to to do right now um, but only do what you're comfortable with. Okay? All right. This is Bitcoin Yoda signing off.